In this video, I will show you how you can use Shell in .NET MAUI to create your main layout of the app, like tabs and flyout. Hi and welcome to another video about .NET MAUI. Today I will show you how you can use Shell in .NET MAUI. Shell is something that was introduced with Xamarin Forms to make it easier to create uh, the main layout of the app or the main navigation with tabs, flyouts, hamburger menus. It's another word for flyout. So today I will show you how you can use that. With .NET MAUI, Shell is in the default template. It was not that in Xamarin Forms, but now it is. So this video will be very much showing things in Visual Studio. So let's dive in there directly. Here I have my demo app. It's just, I have created by the, the default template .NET new MAUI or via the templates in the create new project. So here it is. You can open the app shell file, app shell.saml that is created when you create a project. So here we can see we have shell content that in this case is a page. Uh, the shell content has a properties that it's content template that you can use to load the actual page. So you use the data template and then you point to that main page in this example and you need to specify the, the namespace up here. So in this case, local, but that name is something you can set by yourself. So here is the main page, it's just the regular content page. But if you want to add a tab bar, you can go back here and we write tab bar. And to the tab bar, we add a tab. And we can set the title. Home, for example, for the first tab. We can set the icon. Uh, home. And the icons I've added here is in the images folder, in the resources folder, and it's an SVG file. Important here is that the build action is set to MAUI image if you want to use SVG files. You can also use font icons with the tabs or in, with shell in general, but I have seen that there are some problems with the colors on them. It's not following the colors for the shell. It, it will be the color that you specify. I don't know if that is a feature or if it's a bug, uh, but I recommend you to use an SVG file or PNG. So you will get the correct one. So then we can move the shell content inside of this first tab. Then we can copy it and we can add a second tab. Let's say uh, list because I have an icon that is list. Uh, and for now, we can use the same content in there. And then we can run it on an iPhone. And then it will look like this. Now, nothing happened because I have the same content, but we can change that if we want to. So let's close the debugger. And uh, if we want to, we can do like this. Remove the content template. Now we can add a content page directly here if we want to. If we do like this, it will load when the app starts. If we do this with content template, it will load when you go to the um, tab. In this case, it will always do that because it's the first step. But if you have multiple tabs, you can use content template for the second, third and so on. And it will not load directly. So just add some content here, a vertical stack layout and a label tab two, just to see that content will switch. So let's run it again. And here we have the content switch. Okay. If we want to add uh, top tabs to a page, we can do that. The only thing we need to do then is to specify shell content inside of the tab multiple times, like this, home one, home two, home three. And then we can run to see how it looks. You can 
go here and now we have three tops tabs at top and all those colors is in the default template specified here in the colors.saml that you find in the resources folder so here we have the primary the light dark and so on but of course you can set up your own styling here if you want if we instead want to have a fly out we can easily add that what we need to do is to change this flyout behavior to flyout that is default so we can also remove it the property if we want to or locked if you want it to always be visible but on a mobile device we don't want that so let's say set it to fly out now we will create a fly out item uh, and wrap a shell, shell content inside of it like this we will set the title to fly out one for example and let's try to run this so it looks like this on Mac with um, that icon there if we run this on iOS it will look like that without an icon but we can swipe if we want to have an icon we can easily add that by using uh, fl fly out icon and set what icon we want to use list for example that we already have added the problem here right now is that we have a bug that it, this will not work on iOS but instead on iOS we can do like this or not only for iOS it will work on all platforms font shell dot fly flyout icon then we can use a font image source here if you want because that will work uh, then we set the color to white size let's say 24 and the glyph we want to use uh, i have imported a font file with um, the office fabric icons and i know one of these font icons is um, uh, f505 and with when we define it in saml we need to do it like uh, this so add hash and x and then the code 505 i don't remember what icon that is but i know that is one of the icons available so we can do like that and then we can try to run it and now we have an icon here okay let's continue to add more items if you want to have uh, another flyout item we can do that fly out two and if we want to have them more or less grouped we can do that too then we need to set fly out display options as multiple items then we can add let's say three of them and just do that so we can see the difference And run it again open it and now we can see that we have a line here between the flyout item 1 and flyout item 2 and now we don't have this flyout item 1 title specified here instead we have the sub uh, items the shell contents that are specified here so if we want to add an item that should not navigate because you can see here this will navigate to a page and close it uh, now it's same page on all so you cannot see that we, uh, will be different but we can also add a menu item menu item and then we can have a set the command property if we have a view model that we can bind to but right now we have not created any view models yet so we skip that and set just the title Me text hello item and then we can set the icon here also icon image source and then we set uh, let's use the home icon 
and the same we can do for those. We can also set an icon here, uh, and we can take list for that one. Okay, let's try. Here we have them, and here you need to bind to the command and handle what should happen when you press it. Okay, if we want to add a header, for example, to the flyout, we can do that. Then we will do shell dot fly out header here we go. like this and then we can add content lab label text header and we can also add a footer if we want to Of course, you can place this at the bottom if it feels better. But uh, right now we add it in the top foot. And now we can run it. And here we can see here we have the header and we have the footer. To make this look great, you need to add some padding and margins, stuff like that. But this is the way you can add footers and headers with Flyout. In coming videos, I will show you more how you can customize uh, the flyout, so make sure to subscribe to my channel because there will be more videos about shell, flyouts, navigation and other .NET MAUI videos because that is what I will focus on now, bringing you short .NET MAUI videos that will help you get started with .NET MAUI. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe and like the video and see you later, goodbye.